So here I am. It's really early in the morning. <clears throat> I got up to program some drums for the show I'm doing in May. First one in one year. And we're playing Madonna, who I hated when I was a kid. Absolutely loathed Madonna's music. But here I am. Nostalgia running rampant. So I'm using some varied equipment because at the show we have to sync up what I'm doing with a live drummer who's going to be coming in a couple of days to rehearse this stuff with me. So I have to get the sound to him so that he can have a nice solid foundation for playing against. So this one that I'm doing right now is, I guess, take a bow. So I'm going to just throw some faders up and see how it sounds. Now, I, my research about what drum machines Madonna used, she used a variety of drum machines and live drummers. Most notably, um, she used Tony Thompson from Chic. And she actually, because um, Nile Rogers produced some of her biggest records, she used the whole Chic rhythm section. So Bernard Edwards played bass, Nile Rogers played guitar, and Tony Thompson played drums. I think Like a Virgin is a good example of hearing them all play together. And then, you know, as time went on, Madonna used a variety of famous 80s drum machines, like the um, Oberheim DMX, which I think is on Get Into the Groove, and which I tried to emulate using the machine drum over here. So I'm going to pull that up in a little while. And obviously, on tunes like Vogue and Express Yourself, she used a role in 909, which is very prominently featured. Now, in this one, we can do things like put reverb on certain steps. So I'm going to try putting some reverb. So that's like a real classic 80s gated reverb. But that's a little too intense, I think, for the song, so we're just going to keep it mellow. Another thing we can do is select the different reverb sound or a different reverb gate. If I turn the gate way up, that should spread the reverb out a bit. There we go. It's still very modern sounding, but I think when it's mixed with the other instruments that rather than being really apparent as an effect might just kind of blend in with the rest of the music. So maybe that'll work. Let's see. We got a shaker in here. So while I'm doing this, I'm singing the song together in my head, which is really funny because I can't sing. Na 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 So I really love that second chord change. I was like something I probably would have thought was super cheesy back when I was a kid, but that now I really appreciate it's the craft of some of the songwriting. But here's the last element, which is a little tom tom. And then it's cool because you can add these stepwise effects like as things develop in music. It's really nice for this sort of thing. That's kind of cool. It kind of gives it a little, <clears throat> a little jig at the end. Okay, so I'm going to move on to another one of these tracks I did. So I have to change the tempo, which I'm going to have to do on the fly during the show. And then I have to change the kit because I've got different drums selected. And let's see if, and I have to change the pattern as well because it's not the right pattern. So let's see what happens. 
I'm going to push all the faders down. So I'm going to have to make a lot of notes on what adjustments have to be made because it's going to change a lot from one to one. So that's... I think you'll recognize this one. Let's try. And then with the hi hat started using this other machine for some of the other tunes because there was a like I said before a great variety of drum machines that were used by Madonna so you can't just rely on one um, set of sounds for that and these are the options that I have so I started working with this other machine so that's secret which is one of the later Madonna tunes which is sort of hip-hop based they probably use something like a Nakai MPC to program that one with samples. Which is like the same beat that everybody reuses again and again and again and cuts into a million pieces. That one's really boring without the music. But I'm hoping that with um, the drummer playing along with it and all the other instruments in there, it'll be interesting. More interesting than it would be otherwise. So for this one, you have to select the pattern a little differently. Let's see what that one is. I don't even know what that one is. You know, what's interesting about a lot of these Madonna songs, especially the hits, is that they're all the same tempo. They're all like 116 or 117 beats a minute. You don't. I did something I discovered uh, recently that I didn't realize before is that there's tempos that are very um, just. It, it kind of speaks to how hardwired music is into our brains and rhythm because the tempo that makes great pop songs is kind of the same all the time. And if you just use the tempo, it makes people move. And that's what people have discovered over the years with uh, dance music. So I think that's supposed to be holiday. So let's see what the next pattern does. Yep, that's holiday. I don't know how thrilled I am with how that sounds. But maybe it'll sound good once I put um, all the other music. That's weird. I have no idea what that is. So that's basically that project in a nutshell. There's like, I don't know, five or six other beats I have to finish making. And then I have to figure out how to take notes so I can set all the settings where I want them to so it comes out right. Because I'm basically like, when you program a song into a computer to record it, you... Um, kind of fix all these things in place 
and they're automated by the computer, but I have to turn all these knobs and stuff on my own. So I guess right now I'm just going to play for fun and just make up a song and see how it goes. <laughs>
Thank mm-hmm. you.